Do you want to collaborate with major brands, get your music out to millions, and get a load of free stuff? Then keep watching this video. Brand endorsements is where the money is at in the music industry, with the major labels working with brands such as Jeep, FIFA, Tinder, and tons more, all with the aim to get their artists out there and bring in good money. A recent example of this is chart-topping recording artist Camila Cabello, who collaborated with Mastercard. With Mastercard being the main sponsor of the Brit Awards here in the UK, Camila Cabello featured in every single one of their adverts in the commercial breaks, with her track Havana played in every single one. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty cheesy advert, but she would have been paid so much money. Plus, it got her out to millions. You're probably thinking, why are you telling us this? We're emerging artists. How are we meant to get brand collaborations? Well, you can get brand collaborations too. And in this video, I'm going to outline what these brands look for in an artist that they want to endorse and how we can go about finding the right companies to endorse you and then getting that endorsement deal. There are actually four things that a brand is looking for when they're trying to find a musician to endorse. They want an artist that has a loyal fan base, has an engaged fan base, has a fitting fan base for their brand, but also the musician's style is fitting for their brand. Let's start with getting a loyal fan base. So a brand wants an artist that has a loyal fan base because it means that the fans actually trust the musician. So when they actually do have a collaboration, it doesn't come across as an ad, which means they actually get more sales. For example, Sigrid worked with Topshop on their Christmas campaign. This led to her getting featured in Glamour magazine and also Topshop's blog. She then posted a picture to her 246k followers of her wearing Topshop's clothes and tagging them. If you look at all of the comments on this post, all of them are positive. People are discussing how they like the outfit, they like her style and she pulls it off really well. No one is commenting about the fact that it's an ad. This is because she has loyal fans. These fans appreciate what she's doing and realize that she's not doing it to act as an ad. She's doing it because she likes the brand and it suits her style. So how can you get a loyal fan base? Well, you can do exactly what Sigrid does. She releases music often, she has social media content, and she interacts with her fans. Make sure to be messaging every single follower, thanking them for following, and then discussing what kind of content they're looking for and how they discovered you. Next up is getting engaged fans. If you have a loyal fan base, chances are they are actually engaging with you. But there are occasions where people have a huge fan base who love the music, but they don't engage with the artists at all. They're not speaking to them on social media, they're not commenting on anything, they're just enjoying the music. But you want an engaged fan base as well, because brands want people to engage with their brand too. So the best way to get your audience engaged is to create interactive content. Instagram works the best for this because it has features such as Q&As, sliders and polls. So make sure to be taking advantage of all these features. A good example of this is actually Lewis Capaldi. You should check out his Instagram account because his stories and his feed are really personal and he engages with his audience by replying to comments, sharing their things on his story and creating really personal content which makes you feel like he's talking to you. You then need to have an appropriate style. This basically means that the style and image you have matches their brand. For example, if you're a rock band, you're not going to be looking at getting River Island as your collaboration because it doesn't fit your style. But then if you look at an artist such as Harvey, who's a teen pop star, he did a collaboration with JD Sport. This type of collaboration works because Harvey wears these type of clothes normally. So when on his social media, it comes up that he's wearing these clothes, it didn't come across as an obvious ad. He suits their style. So what you need to do is work out what suits your style. Work out what your passions are, what you portray through your social media, and what kind of genre you are. All of these things affect the brands that are going to endorse you. As well as having an appropriate style, you need to have the appropriate audience. If you look at the major artists and the brand collaborations they're doing, the brands fit their audience they have. For example, Ella Eyre is a pop artist and a lot of her audience are young. So she did a brand collaboration with Nintendo. But then Krept and Cronin, who have an audience above the age of 18, did a collaboration with Budweiser, which would be pointless for Ella Eyre because the majority of our audience can't even drink. So you need to analyze what your audience is. Analyze their gender, their age, what interests them. Because a brand needs to see that your audience are going to engage with their product. So these four things are what a brand is looking for. But how do you go about actually getting that endorsement? Well, you need to make sure you've nailed all four of those things and then put it into a pitch. So your pitch needs to explain how your fans are loyal. 
which could be explaining how many followers you have, how much interaction you get per post, and then explaining how they're engaged. So how many comments you're getting, how many likes you're getting, how many replies you're getting to a story. Then explain to them how your style is appropriate to their brand. Break down what your style actually is and how it's fitting to them. Then you need to do the same thing with the audience. Explain who your audience are, explain how you know this and how that's fitting to their brand. This pitch is extremely difficult to write, but put a lot of time and effort into this. You can even involve screenshots of your social media page. Include brand collaborations you previously had, because that adds credibility. But most importantly, just persuade them. Explain to them how you are benefiting them. You also don't need to just be approaching massive brands. You might have less than 100,000 followers. You might have less than 10,000 followers, and that's fine you can still get brand collaborations. All you need is your phone. You're going to open up Instagram. You're then gonna go into the search feature and then you're going to search for something that you think is fitting for your brand. Let's look at hashtag guitar. There is 29.5 million posts using this hashtag and obviously a lot of them are just gonna be people playing guitar. But if you spend a little bit of time, you're going to find brands. Okay, so we found one right here. Manton Guitars has 47.7K followers. From here, you can jump straight into the DMs. Make sure you understand the brand and what kind of products they're selling. And then you can use the pitch that we said earlier. If you do these simple things, you will find yourself getting brand collaboration really, really quickly. I hope you found this video useful. And I hope that maybe you guys can start getting brand endorsements. If you give this a go and do get the results, make sure to let us know. Let us know what kind of brands you're speaking with, what kind of brands you've actually got deals with, because it'd be great to see you guys getting some results. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're gonna be back soon with more music marketing content.